So you mean to tell me that Freaknik got canceled because the women were being graped and essayed? And y'all worried about how the women are going to be perceived? What? Baby, y'all worried about the wrong thing. Some of our uncles and fathers is about to be exposed, and I'm here for every minute of it. I hope they show faces. Don't blur out nobody's face. I want names, faces, and locations. Y'all worried about how black women are going to be portrayed. Baby, that Hulu documentary about to have black men looking like some straight sexual deviants. It's not going to be a good look. It's going to be a sad day on Twitter. Watch. The only thing that black women should be concerned about is how some of their baby fathers is about to be exposed. Because a lot of y'all probably had kids with these men knowing what type of time they was on anyway. And that is the problem. I'm not going to say this, uh, the name of this woman's uh, channel or her podcast. All right? We need to start, uh, I need to go back to that tenet of like, uh, you know, this thing I had hashtag burn the bag, you know, burn the bag. Okay. And the, one of the reasons I'm saying that is because this woman, and I played her TikTok in its entirety. Uh, one of the reasons I say this is because she's a shameless, and I do mean a shameless clout chaser. Okay. She has no integrity whatsoever. Okay. And, you know, I don't even know how I feel about this, but. You know, I want to say that she's always uh, looking to inflict emotional harm on black men, okay? She's always looking to do that. And, and case in point, you know, not even like may, less than a month and a half ago, uh, she was on here talking, uh, uh, you know, trying to get some some kind of a uh, viral situation going with the Michael B. Jordan thing about being corny and everything. She made this big, long video excoriating Michael B. Jordan for not just, you know, getting over it and rug sweeping it, you know, letting a woman get away with it, you know. She's not a feminist. This woman is has, is not a feminist whatsoever and whatnot. She's mad because she was never the one, okay? She was always the thumb on the hand when she hung out with her girlfriends, okay? She never got a free drink in her life, okay? All right? And, and she's married, okay? And she's married and I think she had a kid or something. But she can't get over her hatred. She can't go see a clinician and work through her issues of hatred for black men, select black men that don't want her, don't want nothing to do with her, would barely wipe their ass with her, okay? So she comes on TikTok to get her narcissistic supply by baiting people to come in and make comments and everything. So today I decided to, you know, I have a wealth of energy that I will impart some to her or whatnot. You, you are nothing, okay? You are nothing, you always have been nothing, okay? All right, I, I wish you would go get some help. You need some help, okay? It's not that healthy to walk around carrying what you're carrying on the inside and shit, especially if you're the mother of a child, okay? How does your husband feel playing second fiddle to your hatred? All right, your hatred, your unreasonable hatred. You have a man there, a black man that loves you enough to marry you and procreate with you, but it's not enough. You still have to come out and, you know, take your little jabs and whatnot because you're a bully, okay? Your behavior is reprehensible, okay? I don't believe you, I don't believe you give a shit about other black women, okay? I don't think you give a damn. All I think you care about is trying to get clout and clicks and likes and shit and trying to inflict as much emotional damage and harm as humanly possible or whatnot. You should be canceled. Your video should be flagged in mass by, you know, thousands of black men. They should go there and flag your video, okay, on TikTok because it's offensive, okay? You're offensive as a person or whatnot. Now, I, I hope your podcast gets no traction, okay? Okay, I hope it because all you do is peddle hatred. All right, you're, you're a hater, okay? You hate yourself. Why do you hate yourself? Okay, why? Okay, who who hurt you, all right? Who hurt you so much that you could have a whole man in the house, a whole husband, that God knows what the deal is with him. This is definitely a, a toxic relationship. It's a very narcissistic, a codependent relationship for what I'm looking at because you're always online Taking shots at black men. Okay? Who hurt you? What's wrong with you? Okay? You need some help. Go get some help, girl. Okay? You're raising a child. You shouldn't be doing this kind of stuff. You should be working on developing that little human being 
in your care, okay? And you should be catering to your husband. All right, showing him how much you love him for bobbing for apples in a porta potty and picking you and shit. Then you guys took up residence in a petri dish and put a Tupperware lid on it, okay? Have a nice day, bitch. This message has been paid for by the Dusties. Yes, the niggas you love to hate.